Welcome to the weather forecast for the week, beginning Thursday, October 10th. This is Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. Thursday, well, tonight's the first quarter moon. Next Thursday will be the uh, full moon. So next week will be beautiful evening moons to take a walk in this unusual warmth and smoke. Uh, sunrise, 7.08 a.m., sunset, 6.24 on Saturday in the middle of our forecast period with some big old sunspots, pretty amazing stuff. We also have a uh, coronal mass ejection heading, I think, for tonight. So look for some aurora this Thursday evening and check it out Friday, too. Who knows? Uh, another interesting little special thing here is this is Comet Atlas. Uh, <coughs> this is the SOHO chronograph. All these specs, some of them, the tiny ones like that, are stars. The others are protons hitting the camera from that coronal mass ejection. This is a stick holding a little um, shield that's hiding the sun. The sun is that white circle, and this comet is really uh, close. Uh, it's between the, or close to the sun from our point of view, from the satellite's point of view. Get this right. It's between the sun and the satellite. All right, so drought conditions, definitely getting worse pretty quickly, going from last week to this week. Uh, everything is just very dry and very warm. And so you got evaporation, uh, plants are pumping water up into the atmosphere, evapotranspiration. So yeah, the growing season or the living plant season is still going on and uh, the moisture in the soil is depleting. Nationwide, we certainly got rid of the drought down in the Southeast, tragically. Uh, but drought is worse just about every place else because just about every place else has been really dry. Uh, for that, we have smoke uh, fires out here. Y Utah fire is one I've been hearing about. I don't see much there. Smoke is going past. It's probably the nighttime forecast, so the fires die down. This other stuff is really active in um, Idaho. So we have some smoke just about every place. It's not as thick as it could be. If you look out to the northeast, you uh, see a, a plume of smoke laying down there. And the reason is it's just bone dry. We've had light showers, some Virga, uh, rain that falls out of clouds for the last couple of nights, but uh, mostly evaporates. I think I saw three drops on my windshield on the way home yesterday, two days ago. Not much. For Thursday, severe weather, a couple chances of normal everyday thunderstorms. Again on Friday and again on Saturday, just not much to see. Um, looking at the surface map, we have a front draped down across the northeast. It gets close to, I'm sorry, northwest, gets close to northeast Colorado here and then retreats. So there's just not much to talk about. Uh, we may be in the 80s. But the normals are dropping from 71 into the 60s, and the nor normals at night from 41 to 38, with a hint of change and a little precipitation in the end, but it's not much. That's eight, nine, ten days out, and uh, yeah, just not much. Looking at water vapor uh, satellite image, oh, the moisture is streaming up to our northeast. This is the remnants of um, Milton. So it's crossed Florida last night and Florida is completely in the clear today. All right, and this is the problem, this big ridge uh, stretching from almost coast to coast. When we get a little ripple like this through, we'll get a little cool front that goes with that. You'll see temperatures only drop to the 70s, so still above normal. And then the ridge just holds on. Uh, we do have this big trough sweeping a giant cold front down to the east that will protect them in the short term for many uh, tropical systems, give them a break, uh, cool things down, make hot places without air conditioning better. Uh, this big trough comes in on the 19th, that's our hint of change. There's a tropical system down here in the southern gulf, but we'll see if this trough picks it up or not. It's beyond our forecast window. And this is the unusual heat. Uh, got cool air in the east, that's what steered uh, Milton out to sea across Florida didn't kept it from going up into the uh, e east and that's good. Here comes that big cold front. Temperatures below normal and it does backdoor into the eastern plains. You'll see that in the long term, uh, longer range forecast. And then the heat in the west comes right back as that cold front sweeps down into the Gulf. 
this is our next big change of that trough, a big cold front coming in from the northwest, and we should see some mountain snow return. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, moisture, there goes the moisture of Milton, and we have the moisture out here. There just isn't summer uh, pop-up thunderstorm activity happening. Um, if I play it this far, you'll see the cold front coming in. It does compress the moisture. This is the big cold front for the east, really dry air behind the front. And then here comes the front from the northwest. <coughs> see that? That's not a tropical system. That's just a low on the cold front. And then here's our cold front compressing the moisture briefly, and then dry air comes in after that. Dew points. Really, I'm just going to skip it. <laughs> There's nothing to say. Um, taking a look at precipitation in the future. There goes the remnants of the tropical system. We are dry through the weekend in the southwest as well. This is the cold front. This is temperatures below freezing in the blue. So people do need to stay warm out here. It does get down into, you got a little snow right there, just for a moment. Um, watching another system in the nor northwest, it comes in, there's some snow in the mountains. It's not a lot of precipitation. You can see even maybe low uh, level snow, there's freezing temperatures briefly touching in. So that's a big system down there. Who knows if it actually will form and where it will go, that's way too far away. So the next five days, a little bit of showers on the western slope, really minor. Snow in the next five days, nothing. Over the next 10 days, a hint of some moisture, but it's not much. And then, yeah, some snow even down to south side, southwest side Denver and the Palmer Divide. Uh, not a lot, but hey, we'll take everything we can get. So we have 80s and that first trough comes in, knocks it back down to almost normal. If the 70s bounce back to 80s, then that backdoor cool front comes in, knocking us back into the 70s, 0% through, and with that cool front, past, you'll have cloudy skies become clear. Uh, for the second week out, beyond that, um, was services calling for still above normal for most of the nation. And maybe a little precipitation coming into the northwest, uh, but dry in the northeast. I'm sorry, eastern. Uh, northeast here. That's all I've got. This has been Chief Meralgist John Innsworth, praying for rain, wishing you to keep looking up.